Hey, what's going on, everyone? Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. in 2004. And I'm with Zach Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum 05. Hello. Welcome to another Lombard Bros Talk Show. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Monday so far. Uh, happy uh, Monday. It's now April now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, hope everyone's having a wonderful day so far. Um, Zach, mm -hmm. hi. Hi. What's going on, man? Uh, nothing much. How yeah. about yourself? What? What? I said nothing much, so how about yourself? Huh? What? You know what? Yeah, say again. I said nothing much, how about yourself? I... Zach, I'm too tired to think. Yeah, I you are. am exhausted. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am exhausted. I... I'll, I'll be honest with you, I went back in the house an hour ago and I fell asleep. I, I, I'm that tired today. Mm. I literally fell asleep, guys. And it's like, what happened to my energy? What what happened? So, yeah, um, I'm tired, exhausted. You know what I want? A nap? <laughs> yes. That and uh, I need like a week, you know? I need like a week vacation is what I need. You know what I mean? This, doing all this stuff every day. Dang it, Chief, you know? <laughs> um, you're just you're so exhausted. It, you know, it's what I do is so tiring and exhausting. I feel like I need a week to recover. I've just been on the go so much recently. So it's, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So other than that, I'm fine. It's just, uh, just a little bit tired. Um, just hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be away for a while. And the thing is, I got a Minecraft Monday stream later tonight too. So it's like, okay, I'll have to do that as well. I'll be all right. Just have to uh, stay awake again. Yeah. At least eat or drink something to keep you awake. Zach, I've been doing that. Okay. Do you not see the smart water over here? Obviously, this ain't helping. Don't you ever use five-hour energy sometimes? No, I don't drink that stuff. I thought you had. No, I don't drink that stuff. I don't ever drink that stuff. It's nasty in my opinion. I don't drink that stuff, no. Why would I drink that stuff? Have I you mean, ever seen me drink a five-hour energy? Oh, but I thought, you, I thought you had for whatever reason. No. Zach, you've never seen me drink five hour energy, so no, that means I don't drink it. No, I don't ever drink five hour energy. I don't care to drink five hour energy, and I will not drink five hour energy. Okay, so I won't drink that stuff, okay? Okay. You got it? All right. So, anyways. For whatever reason, I feel like my chair is a little lowered. <laughs> I mean, I, I've had monsters. Okay, I've, monsters. I've, yes. drink, I've drank those, but not five hour energies. I don't drink that stuff. That stuff is honestly nasty. Right. It's what I don't like. But monsters is what I've uh, drank. That's Ooh. what. When was the last time you've had a monster? Probably when I was at Auto Club. Oh, okay. But that was a couple weeks ago, man. I need something like, like um, Starbucks. No, I had that on Saturday before I went to the track, but like, uh, it's like that stuff don't really help. To be honest with you, Starbucks really doesn't help me. Hmm. I mean, I like I like Starbucks, but that does not help me. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm just trying to be awake. Like I said, I also uh I also got uh my Minecraft Monday stream at five o'clock, so. I have to be up for that. I'll be all right. It's just, I'm just too much, you know? There's too much happening. So, I need to settle down a little bit is what I need to do. Like I said, I feel like I need a week. <laughs> I feel like anybody, I mean, what? You had these spring breakers having a week off. We need a week off. You know what I mean? We need a week of recovery. I think mom would agree to that. We need a week. <laughs> Don't you think? Don't I think the boss would agree to that? Because here's the thing: I 
what what time did I, I went to bed at ten o'clock last night, but I didn't wake up till like around seven o'clock. So I literally still got somewhat nine hours of sleep. And yet I'm still feeling that. Let me ask you this, Zach. Do you uh do do you ever um and see, look what mom doesn't understand. Like she said that nope. You have time off in June, but what she doesn't understand, we're still going to be busy around that time. It's not like we're going to be sitting around resting. You know what I'm saying? It's not like we're going to some beach or some uh, tropical island for a week. No. Like in June, Zach, we are going to E3 and the Sonoma. We're in, uh, well, in the, towards the end of June, we're going to Sonoma for a few days. That's we're still busy with. It's not like I'm going to go to the racetrack and sit around. No, I'll be working there because I know I'll be going around filming and all that stuff, vlogging. Um, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not sitting around doing nothing. I'm talking about just taking a week of just resting and sitting around. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, right? right. Not of this uh, having a like oh, a few days off in June. When you're still going to be busy on those days off. So it's not really a vacation, in my opinion. Oh, Ryan Vargas has joined chat. So speaking of Ryan Vargas, he's going to be our guest today. Um, he actually has a couple announcements. Um, he actually just um, he just made an announcement earlier today, too. I know, obviously, the other day he made the announcement that um, we're um we're expanding uh, basically the sponsorship deal with Ryan Vargas. Uh, of course, we were going to sponsor uh, Ryan Vargas just only out in the West Coast. But, you know, we decided let's expand the sponsorship over to his East Coast races. And he actually had a light mile race this past Saturday night. He finished third. So not too bad. But, uh, yeah, we're extending the sponsorship. Lombar Bros Gaming is. Um yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, so shout out to Ryan Vargas, who's in chat right now. Uh, it's cool that he's uh, that he's on. Um, so, I mean, I hope... Oh, son of a gun. Okay, Ryan, I fell for it. I fell for Ryan Vargas' announcement. Because, okay, let me just say this to you guys. Because I thought it was pretty cool, you know? You know, him doing more races. Like, okay, I'll just I don't I don't know if you've seen it. Have you seen it? No. Yes. No, I okay. Have not seen it. So yet. I'm like, man, look, he's like, I'm proud to announce my return to Bandolero racing in 2019. A lot of work has gone into uh into this process. I'm excited to chase down the national championship, right? To prove what we're made of. Honestly, I thought that would be pretty okay. That's not an announcement. All right, cool. Oh my! I hate April Fools. Let me tell I you this. Too. I uh, I can't, uh, you I know can't what? That's April honestly Fools. the uh, that's honestly the first thing I was uh, I fell like that's the first thing today that I fell for. All day I've been doing such a good job not falling for anything. Like there's been so many April Fools jokes that I've not fallen for because I know they're jokes, but. Yeah, that, that one was the first one today. It took till three o'clock in my day today to fall for one. I let me like let me tell you guys. I mean, good job, Brian Vargas. Holy crap! Um, yeah, he really got you awesome. there. What? Oh, see, oh, see. Now <laughs> he just posted the tweet publicly. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, see. <laughs> Now look at this. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Good one. Uh I oh, well I did fall for that. So, wait, what the see look at oh look at all this. Look at all these uh oh, son of a gun. I was hoping not to fall for any today, and Ryan Vargas got me today, Zach. Yeah, he, he did. got me. I'm not gonna fall for another one today. I'm not doing it. Not, I've been doing a pretty good job so far. You've been doing a good job so far. Good, good. Don't fall for anything I just fell for. All right, GG, Ryan Vargas. I'll give you that one. Like I said, um, 
um, I've done such a good job not falling for anything today, and I guess I fell for that one. Are we already 10 minutes in? We really crap. Cool. Closer to uh, nap time. No, I'm really, I really need another good night's sleep tonight. I no. Uh, anyways, what I was gonna ask you earlier, I don't know if this happens to you, but like when you uh, get less hours of sleep, you feel fine. When you get more hours of sleep. You feel exhausted the next day. I don't know why that is. I've had that happen to me. It feels like it's happened I've, to me today. I've had those days. Like, uh, hold on. Uh, um, let me. I'm just gonna reply to this actually. Uh, but yeah, I I've had those days too. Like sometimes when you get a long sleep, you feel tired the next day. But there. then sometimes when you do, you feel fine. I'm just gonna. Yep, just gonna. Shh. I usually get to the situation where I don't get. This is my reply. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's my reply. So, anyways, what usually happens to me is that whenever I don't get enough sleep, that's when I feel real tired. But when I get long sleep, then that's when I feel fine. It feels weird. Like I feel when I sleep for more hours than what I normally do. Uh huh. I'm I'm tired. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. So he's like, oh, did he like it? Yeah, he did. All mm -hmm. right. Yep, I want to shoot myself now. Huh? Anyways, I thought that would have been cool to race Bandoleros again. You know, you know, he's racing late models, but like, guarantee you, that would have been so cool. He could have done Bandoleros. But, you know, whatevs. I want to. I want to really shoot myself. Oh, I, I. You know, I just want to walk out. You know, and just end this talk. I'll be like, well, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. But all right, I'll give Ryan Vargas that one. That was really good. Not gonna lie, because I. I'll be honest with you. I was kind of excited. You know, I saw that yeah, announcement earlier today, like and I'm like excited. I was excited about. It. You know what? I'm glad. You know, I'm so surprised that. Um, that he uh wait so who who said who mentioned that first hold on uh let me scroll back up in chat um oh uh, see look it was my mom that kind of it was mom that kind of ruined it um so you know how um so many announcements right uh, you know i mentioned the announcement first and then Mom just typed the chat, is that an April Fool's show? And I guess Ryan Vargas said, yes, it was. You know what Ryan Vargas should have done? He should have uh, waited. He should have waited until he got on and then told me it was an April Fool's show. Because I'll be honest with you, I would have fallen for it the entire time. Yeah, probably. But now that, you know, he's like, nope. Um, no, Mom, you kind of did ruin it. Because you – because – um, I mentioned that uh, that Ryan Vargas made in their announcement earlier today, and then you came on and said, um, "Is that an April Fool's joke?" And then that's when Ryan Vargas replied, "Yes, it was." All I'm saying is that I was hoping that Ryan Vargas got on, or no, I see it would have really got me. See, I would have fell for this the entire time, and then. You know, I could have been like, so Ryan, you made an announcement earlier today that you're racing Bandoleros, and then I guarantee you that's when he would have caught me. Yeah. Right on camera. I think if that happened, I would have walked out. I Not like angrily, but just in like, oh, like dang it. Like laughing about it, but at the same time a little annoyed because I was, tr I'm trying so hard today not to fall for anything today. Fell for this one. I fell for this one. I, 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 mm. like I said, give credit to Ryan Vargas. Ah, what else? So I guess uh, that's the end of me trying to <laughs> fall for anything today since I just fell for this. We're 15 minutes to the talk show. Shout out to those that are watching uh, the talk show right now. Thank you all for some by watching. Hope everyone's enjoying the talk show so far. In just a few minutes, we will get Ryan Vargas on, and we will not be talking about that announcement, uh, but we'll be talking about other stuff. Um, maybe his uh, pat, uh, his race this past Saturday night over at Hickory. 
in uh, at Hickory Speedway. Um, he finished third Saturday night, which was which was good. Good run up there. Um, where's the interview with Jeff? It's on my channel, bud. Anyways, um, anything you want to talk about? Well, I can clearly say that mom's car is ready to be picked up tomorrow. Okay. Morning, so I, have I was to hoping you get to your cars. Wait, no, you didn't go to the museum this weekend, huh? No. Oh my god, I'm 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 telling you, I need a nap. I I need a nap. I cannot be doing this show right now and expect me to try to, um, like full energy right now because I don't have it right now. Uh, all right, now what about this weekend? Let's see. Oh, they haven't updated the schedule yet. Oh, my. All right. So I guess what? And here's the reason why I just remembered that, too. They're always closed on Mondays. So they don't think about, like, um. So it would most likely not be updated until tomorrow. Okay, but I, I'm surprised I didn't, like, think about uh, updating it before. Like, uh, like why, either Friday or Saturday. Wait, were they closed Saturday? Um, that I, I'm, that I'm not sure of. Oh, uh, you didn't even go? Okay. Never mind. Um, all right. Well, so much for that. Is there any other thing you want to talk about, I guess? Well, I've been, I don't know if you noticed, but I've been collecting like vintage sports cards lately. Oh, son of a gun. You know, I was at Target earlier today and I meant to go pick up some more of those NASCAR cards. Oh yeah. And I forgot. I went to Target today because I needed to get a couple things. And you know that was on my mind before I went to Target. And I didn't get any. Mmm. Son of a gun. But yeah, anyways, I've been collecting old sports cards lately. Like mostly mostly from the early nineties. Yeah. Yeah. And uh I've been and it seems that I've been collecting more football cards than baseball and soccer, though. I, I don't know why, but I just, for a reason, collecting, like, old sports cards now. Mostly so far from the early 90s. Yeah. I mean, I was, like I said, I was supposed to get some more NASCAR cards today. It wasn't really my main reason why I went to Target. I had to get to Target for the things I needed, but like it was in my mind, like, you know what? I should get while I'm at Target some uh get some more of those uh NASCAR cards, you know? Because I'm trying to collect some. Yeah. And I just forgot about it. it wasn't it wasn't like a thing I really needed, but I'm like, while I'm there, I might as well pick up some. Um I got the stuff that I really needed, but just not those. Right. So yeah. Yeah. And then um I didn't get those. But no, it wasn't really a thing that I needed. Yeah. Um, but I'm like, I'm there. I might as well get some. And I didn't get any of it. So, oh, well, maybe another time. But, uh, yeah. Watch that there weren't any there anyway. So it's like, all right, then, you know, what else? But I would never know yeah. if there were any there or not. Because uh, the last time I was there when I got – some of the NASCAR cards, yeah. there, there was only one box left. So, who knows? There could have been no boxes there this time. Yeah, who knows? But I'm never going to know. You know what I mean? Oh, well. Um, so, um, yeah. Dude, I, I'm, I'm telling you. Like, here's the thing. I was fine today for the first half of the day i think since around one o'clock is when i started getting this tired i don't know what happened to me i don't know why i started feeling this way it's just i am uh hopefully i can be more awake but i'm not and it's kind of warm in here we have this ceiling fan on blast guys and i'm still hot in here no joke i am so I'm I'm like the bang on getting up and turning on this air conditioner right now because it is so warm in here. Well if, you, well, if you want to, then go for it. If it's this, here's the thing. If it's this warm right now in like 
high 70 degree weather cannot imagine what it's going to be like during the summer oh, you're going to have to have this air con- worse. you're going to have to have this air conditioner blasting all day long yeah we've been game warm weather for the past couple of weeks now so that's saying well welcome to spring yeah but i shouldn't be feeling this one this early but i don't think i've ever like in the spring at our old studio, I don't think it ever felt this warm in the spring. Yeah, you may be right about that. In the, st- I, I'm talking about in the studio. You yeah, know what I mean, I, I'm talking about the studio because, because like, uh, oops, because because like in in our old studio, I didn't start feeling hot in here even when we had the air conditioner on until around June or July, but this is early. Yeah, like is summer coming early? But you know what I, you know what I've been seeing so far that I really love enjoying seeing, it's green on the mountains and green everywhere, right? And flowers grown. What well, I love to see so far, so nice. Right. Anyways, I swear you're after me, Jesus. I thought you were no. done talking. Nope. Ah. Uh. So how is everyone doing today? Literally in chat, how is everyone doing today? I really apologize that I'm not up to my full potential energy right now. Don't know what's going on. I might as well, so, I, you know, I was gone all day Saturday at the racetrack for some NASCAR k racing. Did a full day of that, you know what I mean? Full day of that. And, ah, oh, dude, the sun... The sun destroyed me on Saturday. The thing was is that, you know, I did apply some sunblock, but I still get burned easily. Yeah. And I know I'm still going to get red somewhat, but what really killed it for me is that I forgot to bring a hat. That's what did it for me. That's why I got all red here, because normally when I put sunblock and wear a hat, no. I'll still get some red, but not like so bad, you know? I don't feel any pain. I don't feel any pain for this, but I'm more ready right now than what I've been in a while because of me forgetting my hat. I did apply the sunscreen, but I forgot the hat, and that's why I got burned here. Because I was out in the sun all day. I got there around 1045 and was out outside until 930. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I was there from 1045 to 930, at night at the track. Of course, when the sun went down, I it wasn't too bad, you know what I mean? But it was a warm day out there, and just because I forgot a hat, this is what I get. And I haven't been this red in a long time. I, this was probably the most I've been red in a while. Like I said, when I apply the sunscreen, I might get some red, but, I, but this, since I forgot a hat... This got worse. So, uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. Oh, yeah. It doesn't hurt. It's just there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is. And I, I have, it looks, looks like the red's going away on my arms. It looks like it's already kind of gone in my arms. Yeah, but, all I see is hair on your arms. But, uh, even my arms were red because, like I said, I didn't, like, I applied the sunscreen, but you know, of course, um, I don't really get burned too much on my arms. I just normally get it here and here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't really get burned too much on the arms. But again. See, your skin is kind of sensitive, I would, I would say. You have sensitive type of skin. I, I kind of agree. But, um, you know, it's just uh, I just got to hat. And that's yeah. what killed me. So. so that was a bonehead move. <laughs> well, I thought I had one in my car. Because I here's the thing what I always keep in my car. Uh-huh. I always have a bottle of hand sanitizer left in the car. I always keep my car charger in the car. I always um I always um have a duffel bag in, you know i always keep a duffel bag in the car yeah just in case i always keep that in there um what else do i leave in there i leave uh i do leave a 
sweater in the car just in case if I need it. Like, if, I don't know about this time of year, but like uh, when it was around winter time, I always kept the sweater in the car. I always left the hat in the car, and I guess I took it out at one point when I was cleaning out my car. I guess I never put it back, and so that's why I had forgot a hat. And so, yep. So that sucks. But what can you do? Yeah. I mean, like I said, I don't feel any pain, but I do have like stuff to rub stuff on, and uh, it's it's going away. You know, it's going away, but it might take a couple of days for the red to like go away and stuff, but. I'll be all right. I'll survive. I'm not getting skin cancer, guys. I promise you. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting that. I'll be all right. By the way, it feels so nice for that to be on right now. By the way, can you guys still hear us well, even though the air conditioner is blasting right now? I'm pretty sure they can still hear us okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. You know, Zach, I know we're fine. I want to make sure they are because we can't hear each other from this. You know what I mean? So I, I just want to make sure, okay? Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay. See, look. They can hear us. It's good. But I wanted to make sure, right? Can you guys hear me now? Do you think they can hear me like this? No? Oh, okay. I may need to speak louder. Can you guys hear me right now? Uh, oh, Isaac, you dude, you need to shave. I know I do. I I shaved this morning. I which I should probably do that sometime before the end of April. I shaved this morning, and I feel good. Good, I'm glad you do. I feel I feel good, guys. Tired wise, no, I don't feel good about that. But yeah, I um, I feel good in the face. can talk so Zach, is there anything else you want to discuss anything else oh yeah so by the way speaking of Irwindale, you know race was good it was a good race um uh had an insane finish um did you watch my vlog from that yet i i've seen a little bit of it but i haven't seen the whole thing yet you need to watch the whole thing because it gets better okay i, I like did you see the winning car? The winning I car. I posted it on Instagram. Yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. All right. So, did you see what the finish looked like? I I did. Oh no, no. What did you see? What the finish looked like? Well, no, not. The I finish, have to though, show but... you it real quick, okay? Because we need to get Ryan on. Can you wait a minute? Okay. Besides, it's not, we we always get them around, you know, and, and we're not there yet, okay? Can oh. you, like, give me a break? Zach? Okay. Anyways. So, I'll at least just show you from my view, okay? Okay. Because it looked pretty sick from my view. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So, wait, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, the final lap, right? Right. It's between these two. And this is my view. So, uh, hold on a second. They're, they're coming down the back straightway. And up. Oh, they're still side by side. Oh, now they go into turn number three. And they're still side by side. And uh, this is where it gets interesting. Um, they hit bang right here. And then they cut this guy's tire. He won, but they cut his tire down. And oh, there he goes. wow into the wall and that's why his car was damaged after the race ouch so apparently because things happen so fast in racing and of course i was trying to focus on filming it i i know they i knew they hit once but i thought that car hit him again and wrecked him but it turned out that after that hit they made it cut that tire and that's why he went spinning into the wall I thought so. Yeah, so he won, but the car doesn't look good. But yeah, he got the trophy, so yeah. that's all that matters. He was okay. He said he was a little banged up because um, he hit the wall driver's side too. So, uh, but he told me that you know he was good, banged up, but most importantly, he got the trophy. Yep. So, you know, it's not a matter of 
how your car turned out, you know, as long as your car can make it to check a flag and win the race, it doesn't matter what it looks like. You know what I mean? So I guess now it's time to get Ryan Vargas on. So hold on a second, guys. Let me just uh, quickly. Oh, let me just get him on. Oh, what the? Oh, what? Uh, what the? Can you click? No. Oh, gosh. Darn it, Zach. I'm, I, I'm failing, Zach. I'm, fail I'm telling you, I need to go to bed. Uh, um, let me see. What was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ryan Vargas. Let me message him. Oh, uh, wait. Let me give him the link. Hold on. Where is he first? Off? There he is. Okay. Now let's uh, go here and let me send him the link. Ooh, what? Excuse me. And he'll be on for, at, for a little while. And that. And that. That. And this. Okay, I sent them the link. Let's see what he's got. All right. So now while we wait for him, the Jeopardy music comes on, except we don't have the music coming on. It's By just silent. Yeah, it's just silent. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Why? Oh, nothing. I know he's on. He's going to make fun of me for falling for it. Oh, God. Oh. You know, at least I didn't retweet his uh, announcement post. Yeah. Then that would really make me look like a fool. You know what I mean? Yeah. You uh, got lucky. Yeah, I got lucky, but I still fell for it either way. But it could have been really bad, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, now we wait. Ooh. You know, Ryan Vargas has another race coming up over here in Irwindale on the 13th. April 13th? Yep. Last wow. time he was in Irwindale, he won a race. He Look, won one of the races. Let me guess. You're going? Well, obviously, I'm going to go. Why would I not go? I mean, what? It's 45 minutes from here. I should go. You know what I mean? And you said Irwindale's past at the, that, but Pasadena, right? Somewhat, yeah. This world Autism Week? No, it's Autism Month. Autism Awareness Month, basically. It's not a week. It's the entire month. Um... Also, my YouTube went to a soap. Apparently, mom's YouTube went to a soap opera. Wow. A soap opera? Yeah. <sighs> for whatever reason, uh, her YouTube went to soap operas. Mm. I don't know why. Yeah. All right, Ryan Vargas, where are you at, buddy? <sighs> See, Zach? It's ridiculous, you know what I mean? Good Lord. This kid takes a while. So do you. Uh, I take a while. I mean, we started this talk show on time, right? I mean, well, yes. We're here on time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Apparently, Mom showed up to chat on time today, too. You know how usually she'll show up about a few minutes late? Yeah. She showed up right away. Surprisingly, well, she, was, surprisingly she, she wasn't slow getting here. Well, you never know. She may be busy on phone uh Oh, call. Ryan Vargas says it's not connecting for some reason. Uh-oh. Oh no! Uh, I'm gonna try it again. Uh oh. Uh oh, guys. It's not connecting for a reason. Oh no! This ain't the only time this has happened. We've had had it happen to some other people. Oh, by the way, guys. So I'm just gonna blame mom for this. She said Google Hangouts was going away April second, right? right? Which is tomorrow. It's going away in October. So that's six months from now. Yeah, so we still have Google Hangouts for another six months. Mother, what the heck are you talking about? Oh, my God. Um, hold on. I'll try him one more time on here. Oh, wait. You know what? Let me try him on this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Wait a second. Do I have another solution? You know what? Sometimes you can find solutions. Um, um, oh, shoot. I need to wait. I need to open up. Wait, how do there you go. That's what I want to do. Let's try one more time with this. I always like to try this twice. And if it still does work, I got Ryan Vargas as a number, so if anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And there. Let's try it again. All right. Let's do this.
Um, maybe it may have first. Maybe said. Google Plus is uh, April second, but Google Hangouts is. Oh, here he is. There we go. There Ryan. we go. Hello. Hello, man. Hey. So, um, I just want you to know, I'm not racing Bandoleros. I, I, I found out. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I I feel proud of myself that I didn't like retweet a post like this is awesome. Yeah, congrats, man! This is so exciting because that would really make me look like a well, I. Yeah, yeah, that was um that was funny. I was very proud of that one. That one went a lot better than I hoped. So uh, I'm nice about that. Nice. You know what? Day. I I was doing such a good job not falling for anything today until that, and I thought I could trust the Vargas and now I don't know if I can trust you anymore I mean the last time I saw you I threw you in an enduro car for a race so I don't think there's much trust there I <laughs> yeah yeah never know uh you never know it's like if like um far I he put me in a enduro car one time and now he got me with this it's like do I trust the kid anymore yet I give you, we give you a sponsorship. So, and this is what I You're get. Welcome. You're That's welcome. cool. Uh, well, You're first welcome. off, man, what's been going on with you? Yeah, it's been going good. I'm um, just spending a lot of time working with the Leaf Falk racing guys. Uh, they taught me a lot this past weekend racing at Hickory. Uh, it was cool to have LBG on the hood and uh, be able to run up front with it. You know, we struggled a little bit earlier in the day. We, the, it was a twin main event and the first main event went terribly. I was missing my lines and, I was all over the place. It was a mess. Um, but in the second main event, we cleaned it. We cl I cleaned up my act, and uh, the we made the right adjustment on the car as well. And we went from thirteenth to third in that race. So it was a lot of fun. But uh, you know, it went really well. That's cool, man. Yeah, um, like I said I, you know, somebody told me like um, what happened. Like I knew somebody that was at track and uh, that went over there and. Mm -hmm. um, you know, of course, I text you best of luck, but I was also, like, trying to get updates on what was going on that race. And, yeah, it didn't seem like the first he went well, but then I saw where he finished third. I'm like, okay, yeah. get me proof. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah. Um, but um, so, well, you're racing again this weekend, right? Yeah, again this weekend at Hickory again. So uh, another twin set of uh, twin main events, so it'll be good. Uh two more opportunities to improve and two more opportunities to get some more wins for you guys. So it'll be fun. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it so far. That's good. So like you've learned a lot, obviously from this past weekend, and now you could go in this weekend and, uh, you know, try to improve some more now that you got what you got from last week, you can bring it on to this week. So no, uh, do wish you the best of luck in that this weekend for sure. Uh, maybe we'll, have some more at least podiums stuff. Oh, it's yeah. so cool to see you up in the podium. Uh, of course, what you're having a race, you're coming back out here in Irwindale. Yeah, we're racing the next two weeks in a row, basically. The this weekend at Hickory, and then I'm flying back out there to race Irwindale. So, I mean, we got a lot of good racing going up and uh, coming on. And uh, I'm, I'm excited to go back to Irwindale. I mean, the return after getting a win, um that always carries a lot of good mojo so uh it'll be cool to have you guys there as well so uh i'm excited yeah so if you guys uh didn't know uh, a few days ago uh lombard bros gaming extended the sponsorship with ryan vargas so originally we had lombard bros gaming sponsor ryan for the west coast races that he's doing out here with late miles but we decided to expand that uh for the East coast races. So I think, uh, once that opportunity came about, when you came to us about that, Ryan, uh, it was a good opportunity to hop on board and, uh, we couldn't be, uh, uh, such a pleasure working with you always, of course. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's fun to work with you guys. I mean, you two are really good, real good guys. I mean, you guys put in a lot of effort to what your, your, your YouTube, your Instagram, the vlogs, the gaming, whatever you guys do, you guys put in 110% effort into it. I respect that a lot. So it's cool to carry you guys on the hood and on the back bumper. Uh, my, fr my friend uh, Nick Sanchez, he was joking. He was joking with me. He said when he was behind me, he was aiming for your sunglasses because he saw <laughs> the, the logo on the back bumper. So uh, people are seeing your logo and it's being seen in the right light. So it's cool to be able to do that. Well, it, it's it's probably a good distraction too. You know, like who doesn't want to stay behind you and see like two 
good faces, you know, exactly. like two, two gorgeous, gorgeous faces, just looking right at them. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, it's worked out, um, of course for the West coast swing with, uh, Ryan C it worked out very good for them. So, uh, getting uh, top 10 runs over there. So, it, you know, hopefully uh, it seems like that's working out for you as well. I do like that it's now on the back bumper because when you were out in Irwindale, uh, it was on the on the top there. But yeah. now drivers can really see it, and it should really be a help to keep them behind, uh, keep them behind you and stuff. Because like you mentioned, how, you know, got two good faces. How can yeah. you not – how can you not – like to look at that so uh so i do have a question ryan because i don't know why i thought about this but ever since uh faces have been involved in your car you ever thought about you know what you should do it, that's it'll be funny you know how you have the ryan uh ryan vargas power hour now mm -hmm. yes that logo you should put that on your car man <laughs> you know um I've, I've always liked the idea of putting your own stuff on a car you know when you don't sell a sponsor so um, if something like that comes about and I have an extra bit of change to throw and throw in a sticker, uh, maybe, but I'm trying to save some room for sponsors and stuff like that, like you guys and other people. So, um, but it'd be fun. It'd be cool to put that, uh, to put that power hour logo on the hood. That'd be a lot of fun to see. I totally understand, but we want to make room for the other sponsors. Pretty cool. But I just thought like just anywhere on the car, we've got to have a Ryan Vargas power hour. Um, right well, speaking on the car. Yeah, well, speaking of the Power Hour, we're working on getting some T-shirts made here this week. So hopefully those will come out. Um, you know, we've just been really slow getting some stuff like that going, but uh should be coming up this week, hopefully. So it'll be good. Well, as soon as uh, that comes out, I'm immediately buying one because I bought awesome. like – because like you mentioned that one time, I'm like, oh, dude, I can't wait to get one. So yeah. soon, once I do get one and it shows up at my house – I'll be representing. I'll probably every time I join your power out, I should just quickly put the shirt on just to represent. Be like, guys, follow the Ryan out, uh, Ryan Vargas Power Hour. Represent. Oh, yeah. Got to do that every time uh, um, you do one of those. Which I would say the the Ryan Vargas Power Hour. What you do with the Instagram Live, it, it's it's a pretty cool thing. You interacting with the fans. I, I I'm hope I, I wish uh, more drivers does something like that they just get on instagram live and they just they try to interact with their fans like that but what you do i think it's pretty cool and seem like people are enjoying it man yeah um i wasn't expecting this to kind of turn into a whole thing and like a whole segment i guess you would say um people are really enjoying it like and it's not even really an hour a, a power hour it's more of an, a power two or two and a half three hours because <laughs> with how many people actually end up requesting to go live it's it's pretty incredible to see how, how many people are really into doing it and who, how many people really enjoy watching it. Some people stay on for the entire duration of those couple hours of power. So, I mean, um, it's cool to see that. It's really cool to see the um, response that people are giving to it. And I'm really enjoying doing it. It just it gives me such a great ac accessibility to be able to talk to not just race fans, but even other racers or even other people in the industry. So it's a lot of fun. I got, you're famous, man. You're famous. Yeah. You're getting there, dude. Uh, you know what it's got to be? It's got to be your face, too. How can you not oh, love yeah. that face? You can't, you can't love the, you can't not love this face. You cannot gorgeous. love that face. And what? You know, one of my favorite things about you, right? I, I don't know why, but it's now it's your thing. I love the hellos. I, I always love that. I always, Hello. I always love that for me. Like, that's like almost basically your trademark. Um, so of course, when I see you, uh, the following Saturday in the Irwindale, first thing when I see you, I give a hello. proper hello, hello, you know, from hello. you. It's so good, man. I, I always like it, whether I see it, when I see it on Instagram live or not just Instagram live, but like, um, like I see your Instagram stories and stuff. I'm like, yes, dude. Yes. But, um, so, um, I think we can open up for a few questions for the, uh, for the chat. Uh, so, uh, chat, if you guys, uh, want to ask some questions to Ryan Vargas, we'll read them out to him and, uh, we'll ask him and, uh, uh, make sure you follow, uh, Ryan Vargas on his social media. He has, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, of course the Ryan Vargas power out there, Instagram lives. He does every now and then, of course his yep. YouTube channel as well. Um, which, you know, 
Ryan, of course, the vlogs I've seen so far from you. Uh, it's been good. Um, uh, I know you've been busy lately and stuff, but uh, I know eventually you really want to get on the roll with vlogs, huh? Yeah, you know, I want to try to make the vlogs a little bit of a once weekly type thing. You know, they're they're a lot of fun. You know, it's cool to be able to show a different side of the sport that not uh, that that not many racers when they do when racers do video uh, video series, whether it be a uh, YouTube or a vlog series or even a gaming series, they, they they still act like they're a little bit reserved, and it's not it's not genuine to me. I try to I try to just show that like, hey, I'm a normal dude. Like, I just happen to be I just happen to be an NASCAR. Like, I like. I like doing this stuff. I like hanging out with my friends and, you know, I like doing stupid stuff at NASCAR races. Um, it's just, it's cool to be able to show the fun side of the sport and, you know, there's, and it's cool to be able to show that how big that side is as well. Like even when it's super serious, people are still willing to dance on pit road and pose and do crazy stuff. Cause it's just really, it's just such a great atmosphere and it's so electric. So be able to show everybody's personality is, uh, it's awesome. All right. So I know now that I know you ain't racing bandoleros <laughs> stuff, um, which dang it. I was really, like I said, I was really hoping to go an entire day without falling for anything. And of course the first person is you. So, yeah. uh, ah, man. Uh, so I do, uh, it's, I do want to ask you this, but I know you got late mile racing stuff. Um, have you thought about doing any other type of racing this year or just sticking to late models? Oh, I've thought of doing plenty of different type of racing this year. Um, it's just, it's very tough to be able to do it. You know, um, when you don't have funding in the sport, it doesn't help you get very far. Um, but, you know, I'm looking to hopefully get back in the, in the seat of an actual NASCAR stock car, whether it be a, Arca, Canaan, truck, or anything bigger, you know. Um, just working on getting there and working on being in, in the driver's seat as much as possible and hence doing all the late model races and then whatever comes after that is just bonus. <laughs> okay, so at least for right now, I'm not expecting any more announcements. At, at least different racing-wise, just late models. Yes. Right? Okay. Just, just for now. Oh, just, just for, for now. now. Ho yeah. Hopefully, uh, if you do come up with something, hopefully – Hopefully it's true, and I don't make myself look like a fool uh, because <laughs> you you did a good job on that. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, I guess we got a question from uh, one of the fans here. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, I know you're pretty busy all the time, but if you do, um, do you play video games, and what type of video game? What's your What's your favorite game you've ever played? Um, my favorite game I've ever played. Um. It's a pretty close tie for me. Um, it's either between Grand Theft Auto V, which I played a lot in my early years, um, that or NASCAR 2011. That was a Ooh. that was a game that got me into the in the NASCAR. So I enjoyed doing that, and uh, now I play iRacing every so often. I don't have iRacing on right now. I have racing on TV, but not but not a <laughs> but not a video game. But um, I like that. I like Beam and G Drive. I like I racing. Anything about racing related, I like. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Um, looks like you do got some respect. It looks like uh, old class race, race ESPN. What race is that, man? Can't tell. Um, Chicago, twenty fourteen. Ah, that was a good race. Okay, yeah. that was a good race. I remember that one. Good race. That was a great race. That was a great race, dude. I still feel 2014 package was one of my favorite uh, packages. But uh, no, it, uh, good race, um, of course. Yeah, so, okay. So, let me see. Um, uh, let me see. Well, well, dang it. I lost the question. I lost it, guys. I lost it. Um, I lost it. Um Oh, okay. Do you have a favorite movie? A favorite movie? Um, uh, it would be... I have a lot of movies that I really like. Um, this one's going to come out to be a big surprise to some, but I really enjoy Dead Poet Society. Really okay. enjoyed that movie. Okay. That's a great movie. I love... Uh, just everything about that movie was made it 
I had to. I, I I ended up having to watch that in a language arts class for the first time, and then I ended up going home and rewatching it because I actually really liked it. So, um, it was cool. I like that movie. Awesome, cool man. Um, all right, a couple more questions from the chat. Uh, if you guys uh, uh, have any questions for him, uh, feel free. Uh, we'll give him a, a couple more questions before he goes. But again, make sure you follow him on his social media. Uh, like I said, uh, he's got Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, go ahead. I actually do got a question. Oh, he's for got Ryan. a question. So, Ryan, I don't know if you have a dream car. If so, what is your dream car? So, my dream car is a 1969 Dodge Charger. That is oh, my okay. favorite car of all time. Um, I'm a Chevy guy, but that car has a big sweet spot in my heart, um, mainly because of the Dukes of Hazard and also the Fast and Furious. The General Lee. The General Lee. Yes. Okay. Um, me, 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 Ruben, and Chase over at Rev, we have a lot of Duke boys jokes we like to do. I think R- Ruben actually won with a General Lee sticker on his bump, back bumper at Dover. So uh, it's a big uh, joke for all of us. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Nice man, that great car, great car choice. Mine, mine's just a a Camaro. I just want a Camaro, and I almost got oh, okay. one, and then you know, it didn't happen. Mm. I got Malibu instead. So um, it's still a good car. I, I have a Chevy Cruze, and it gets me from point A to point B. So. I had a Chevy Cruze, and it was. I loved that car. First four years I had, it was a good car. Then for whatever reason, it kept breaking down on me. I'm like, you know. I got to get a new one, man. But it was a good yep. car. Although mine didn't have a – even though it was called a cruise, mine didn't have a uh, cruise no. control in it. I did not have a cruise – I did not find that out until after I got the car. Oh, And it's man. like, well, all right. So I guess Dang. I'm driving with my pedals. Yeah. I abuse, I abuse cruise control in North Carolina. There's no traffic here. Uh, I wish I can uh, say the same thing about LA, but uh, you know, I can't, you know, it's kind of hard to use the cruise control in LA at times. But I got a Malibu that does have a cruise control, and whenever I feel like using it, I'll use it. Um, it was a good car. Well, like I said, nineteen sixty nine Dodge Challenger. You said Challenger, right? No, he's Charger. Charger. It starts with a C. It Charger Challenger is close enough, right? Seventy was the first year for the Challenger. Oh, one year off. I'm sorry, yeah. dude. <laughs> Look, I know about race cars. Okay, I don't know is... a lot about street cars. For goodness sakes. Uh, well, Ryan, uh, I do thank you for taking the time today for coming on again. It's always good to have you on, and maybe we'll have you on again soon. Definitely looking forward to seeing Irwin Wendell, but of course, before you have Irwin, what? Hold on, there's a couple more questions. Oh, is there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Oh, hold on. Wait, where did you see? Where, where is it? Right here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. I'll, I'll have to ask this one. What's your favorite paint scheme of all time in NASCAR? Um, that would easily be the Rainbow Warrior Jeff Gordon car. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it especially this past year, seeing it on William Byron's Camaro. That thing was sporty. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with the Rainbow Warrior. No, uh, no. I, I wish that was still the primary scheme for William Byron because that just looked awesome on the racetrack. That car was gorgeous. Oh, it, it looks gorgeous, man. Uh, I've seen the Rainbow Warrior in person too, and it's like, why isn't this the primary paint scheme? I don't care what <laughs> who's sponsoring it. Got to stick that scheme. Uh, good, good scheme. Okay, uh, Ryan, like I said, I thank you for taking the time today uh, to come on to the show. And uh, Is there what? Question? Dang it. This another question. This is one more I see. Gee, good Lord, Zach. I, I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm doing bad at my job today. Um, <laughs> it's okay. You have one of those things. Um, obviously, you do want to get in trucks eventually uh, whenever that time comes. Uh, so if so – uh, if you have to take a guess, if things go your way, obviously in 2019, hopefully see you back in the Canaan series in 2020, but do you, when do you hope to, to get in the truck series? I, I would assume at least sometime in the next few years. I would hope sometime in the next year or next few months, next few months, next year, whenever I would love to be in the truck series. No. Obviously not on a full time basis. I've still got to get some more seat time racing at the shorter tracks and getting building up my um stock and uh building up more seat time. But 
you know, racing at the truck series level, that'd be something that'd be a lot of fun. Well, I, I know you do love the truck series. We have I seen love the truck series. You love the truck series. I know a lot of people here has seen the video and has I seen the love clip. The truck series. You yelling, I love the truck series. And you know what? I love and truck I series. Guarantee, I guarantee I can I can imagine here like I can imagine you saying that while you're racing in the trucks. Like you just make like such a like I would say a very amazing move and all of a sudden you'll say after in the truck, I love the truck series. Yes. I know you dude. I said it. I said it on Saturday. I was racing the late model. I love the truck series. Did you, you know what was so funny after the finish of the K and N race on Saturday night? Uh, what was so funny is we were leaving off the grandstands, and Kayla happened to say, "I love the truck series." <laughs> she that said, sounds yeah. She, that she, she still, said that. I I think I should just say it as a joke now. Every, it doesn't matter what racing it is. I should just we should all just scream. I love the truck series. I love the truck series. I love the truck series. I, I was gonna say that like in a tweet on after Friday's uh, uh, Friday's uh, truck series race at Texas, and I totally forgot about it. And I'm like, oh man. So uh, no, um, we we love the truck series, and you know what? I can not agree more with you. We so, love the truck series in this household. In this household, <laughs> it's like I wish I literally had one in my bedroom. <laughs> a truck. Um, well, Ryan, I do want to. Hopefully, I do thank you for the time today for coming on to the show. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show. Uh, definitely good luck to you this weekend out at Hickory again. Hopefully, see another podium finish, maybe even better win Saturday night. And of course, I would definitely see you on a power hour and next week at our Windale, man. Yes. Thank you for having me on. I love doing this stuff. It's, it's a blast to be able to talk to you guys. And uh, thank you to all the people who tuned in today and are watching this. Uh, Make sure you guys check out my YouTube, um, hopefully to get some vlogs coming within the next week or so. Um, so, yeah. Awesome, right? Well, you have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your ne- evening, man. Awesome. Thank you, guys. See ya. Yeah. Thank you. Ryan Vargas joining us again on the Lombard Bros Talk Show. Again, this past Saturday night, he finished third at uh, Hickory. Uh, he will be racing at Hickory again this weekend. Uh, we'll see if he can get Maybe a win out there. Uh, uh, obviously, you learned a lot from this past Saturday night. Um, and, of course, he'll be out at Irwindale the following Saturday, the 13th of April. And uh, all we know is that he loves the truck series. And all the other thing I know is that he knows how to fool me with an announcement. Dang it, I'm still kind of – I'm not mad about it at all. But I'm a little irritated because I'm like, dang it, I wanted to go a full day without falling for anything. And Ryan Vargas made me fall for that. And yet he posted that this morning. It's not like he posted literally before the show. Yeah. He posted that this morning and I had it fell for, for, I guess a good few hours. So anyways, you guys can follow Ryan Vargas on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, his YouTube channel. Uh, keep, keep up to date with them on what he's doing in this racing life. And, uh, again, very good kid. 1969 Dodge charger, right? Right. So, okay. Not Challenger. It's Challenger, Charger. You know, both starts with a C. Close enough, right? Yeah. Uh, so do you have anything else to say before we end off the show? Well, I just hope everyone has the, a great rest of your day today and don't get into trouble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't be like me. You know, don't don't get in trouble like I do. I do want to say I do apologize today, guys, for not being my full potential day. I wish – so tired today i like i said i felt fine this morning then ever since one o'clock that's when i'm like this i don't know what what were wrong with me but i did do the best i could for you guys today to go on with the show but i do apologize if i wasn't to my full potential energy today hopefully next monday i'll be that way and uh but i do thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's lumbar bros talk show you guys have a great rest of your monday Take care. Have a good one. Joseph Lombard, a.k.a. into SC4 with Zachary Lombard, a.k.a. Magnum of 5. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Take care. Goodbye.